to God be the glory and praise. I would like to share to you the dream that I had just this uh, November 11, which is the Veterans Day. Happy, happy vet Veterans to all the veterans out there. And uh, I salute you for serving the country. Uh, in Jesus' name, I hope you will be a soldier, not only for the country, but also for uh, for Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. So anyway, um, in my dream, I saw myself walking on the street in a very dark alley. And uh, around me was actually several houses on both right and uh, left side. And it, it was dark. Nobody was on the street except me. And then all of a sudden, I just look up high in the sky and I was looking at this grayish, like a slight blue sky, you know, grayish white um, with a little bit of blue in the sky. And then I saw this huge dragon, the dragon, uh, because it's dark, so it looks black. So the dragon was actually flying in the sky. But one strange thing that I noticed with this dragon was, he was like, uh, he was like, uh, you know, the word, um, he was like freaking, uh, no, not freaking, but he was like uh, in a rush. You know, uh, if you're a person, it's like when you're in a hurry, you're like, come on, you, you know, when you go, um, how shall I say this? When you're in a hurry and you need to do something, right, when there's an evacuation or something like that, people are like, you know, you are like freaking out to do the things as fast as you can. And this is like how I saw the dragon. He's like, his head is turning like right, left, and then flying, just flying, just looking around. And I immediately knew deep in my heart that he's looking for people. It's like already in my heart that he's looking for people to hurt to devour, that's the word that came into me, the dev to devour and to inflict, uh, I don't know what kind of infliction he wants to do. So he's like, he's rushing, he's rushing to look for people. Um, so now, because I was alone on the street and I'm seeing, I'm seeing that dragon, I was so scared that I immediately got out, oh no, run away, go back. And run away and go back to my house and I hid inside the house I, I the last part that I saw because it was a short dream and I can even remember the others and uh, all I know is I was standing when I go in I was just standing and staying there uh, you know I don't I, I know that I'm safe inside the house so it seems like the dragon is really looking for people to hurt and then going back in my house, it's like representing, in my own opinion, uh, in my own opinion, and may the Lord bless that I said it right, that the house represents Jesus Christ. You know, the dragon represents the devil, that he is now seeking for people to devour, to inflict uh, uh, pains or whatever they wanted to do to the children of Christ and because uh, the rushing the rushing and you know it's part of the Bible that says uh, it's in the Word of God that says um, the time of the devil is short and that's why they're trying to do um, as much as much as they can I guess to get people down to hell and uh, we being Christians, being the children of Christ, we have to run back. And I guess the house represents Christ. We have to go back to Jesus Christ and be with Him and focus on Him. Read the Bible and even just closing your eyes and talk to God like you're talking to your Father. And speak to Him what's coming in your heart and He will listen to you. Honestly, for several days, I don't have any dream. And I was wondering, and I've been asking him, I said, Lord, for several several months, I said, constantly, every day, I've been having dreams, and I remember it so clear. But then for several days, I wake up, and I'm trying to remember, what have I 
done? You know, what have I dreamed last night? I, I can't even remember anything. So I was asking the Lord, have I done anything wrong, Lord? Until I said, you know, when I opened the Bible and somebody reminded me about, you know, when the Lord, when the Lord, when you think sometimes that the Lord is not with you, He is always there. He's not going to abandon us or forsake us. He's there watching over us. So I said, okay, I'll just wait until uh, you're going to show me something. And I truly believe he will. Until uh, this uh, 11th, uh, I had a dream. And then immediately when I woke up, I said, you know what? There's a Bible verse that speaks about the dragon. So I Google, search it, and this is where I led. I was led to. And please, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, I would like you to listen. And to all the Catholics and all the Christians or all the people who don't even have the Bible, please listen to this. And this is coming from the Word of God. It is about the woman and the dragon. May the Lord give me the eyesight so I can clearly see uh, the words. In Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, Revelation 12. A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his head. Heads. His tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he might devour her child the moment it was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the desert to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care for 1,260 days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accusers of our brothers who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of his testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heaven, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given, to, was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the desert where she would be taken care of for a time, times, and half a time, out of the serpent's witch. Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon has spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offsprings, those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
See, um, oh, praise be to God for that message. And I know the Lord is just trying to remind us that the dragon represents the devil or Satan, that he is now actually, um, he is actually now mad at all the creations of God because he lost. He, he actually lost, but he just can't admit it. So now he's going to inflict a pain or devour the children of Christ who are us and the other children who, whose eyes are still closed, who are sleeping Christians. So brothers and sisters in Christ, um, if you, I know if you're listening right now, please, please share the words, words of God to all the people you know. Um, if the people who are very hateful and um, very mean and who don't believe in God, um, just go on. Just still show the love and just say the words of the Lord. And, um, and you know, the, the word of God is very powerful. It's, it's like a double-edged sword. And uh, when you say the words and even reading the words of God to these children, you are actually cracking up open and diminishing all the demons that are actually in them. And we will just pray and continually pray for these children that their eyes will be open so they can see and their ears will open so they can hear and their heart will be cleansed so they can purely love and that they will walk in righteousness with the Lord. So brothers and sisters in Christ, I know that it's been hard to walk with Christ but then nothing is impossible with Him. He is not going to abandon us or forsake us. And whatever it's going to happen, this, the Lord said, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not dismay, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So brothers and sisters, God bless each and every one. And uh, may, Jesus, may Jesus watch over each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, Shalom.